Good evening. A man has been taken to hospital after a shooting incident in North Battleford this morning. It happened in the area of Diefenbaker Drive and St. Laurent Drive. RCMP responded to a call of an injured man in his 20s, possibly shot by a firearm. The man was transported to hospital in Saskatoon. Police are waiting for victims on waiting for updates rather on the shooting victim's condition. Three suspects have been arrested. No names have been released. Least. Anyone with information on this incident is asked to call RCMP at 306-446-1720. The investigation is ongoing. Lloydminster RCMP are asking for your help in solving a crime. On July 17th, the concrete business on 12th Street was broken into. Numerous items were stolen. The total value lost is more than $5,000. Anyone with information is asked to call the Lloydminster RCMP at 306-825-6350 or Crime Stoppers. It's an age-old game once popular on the prairies, but playing horseshoes hasn't died out yet. The 20th annual tournament took place at Sandy Beach Park this afternoon, and Anakin Notvate was there and has more. It's a simple game any age can play. All you need is some horseshoes and a pit. Usually I just line up my arm with the pin is right there, and then I do that and then I try to get it so that it flips around and then goes into the pit. Amy Tate and her family have been taking part in the tournament for 12 years. The general atmosphere keeps them coming back, and this time, they're sporting special outfits. The shirt, we have the shirt made because that's our team logo, because we want everybody in the tournament to be gone but us. Each game lasts half an hour long, and to keep things fair, organizers say partners are randomly chosen. It's a mixed event, and, and, and what we do is just so that there's no, no one has an advantage over the other. Everyone's name goes into a hat. We draw names out of a hat to make up the team, so you may not even know your partner, uh, so which, which makes it fair for everyone. The event is always sold out and people come from all over the area. Ivan Egan is over 80 years old and has been coming to the tournament since it began. And today was no exception. I was trying. <laughs> He's won the trophy many times and his advice? Well, I, I hold it like there and then I throw a three-quarter turn. At least that's what I try to do. <laughs> There's about 80, 85 different styles of throwing. People hold it on the side and fling it and it, de it depends on your style. But. Proceeds from the event go to the park. The goal is this year is to, is to work toward uh, in reinvigorating the horseshoe pit area in the Sandy Beach Regional Park. So, so the funds this year would, would be going toward a new horseshoe facility. After this game, I'll go in and get it. Anna Kanate, New Cap News. Residents are advised to take alternate routes this Tuesday as asphalt paving continues. Now, the intersection of 36th Street and College Drive will be closed on September 3rd. Crews will start paving north of the north of the 25th Street intersection on College Drive, followed by the section south of 25th Street to 57A Avenue. Paving should be completed by September 10th. Residents can still access Bud Miller Park via the Lakeland College Lloydminster campus. To many owners, dogs are treated just as closely as other family members. But in many remote communities, overpopulation of dogs and illness can create many problems. As Graham McCann explains, a Marshall-based organization is hoping to shed light onto the need for dog care. Kelly Phipps has been an animal lover all her life. She has seen many problems with the health and care of dogs in some small Saskatchewan communities. This is why she started the Canine Action Project back in April of 2012. Uh, the health of the community correlates with the dogs and the dogs correlate back to the communities as far as the health. Uh, there's different worms and whatnot that the dogs can have that can transfer to the humans. None of the dogs are ever vaccinated so we have rabies as a problem. A large part of what FIPS organization does is offer spay and neuter clinics and education for residents. And what we're doing in those communities is trying to achieve balance, uh, healthy, safe, balanced communities for their dogs and the people in the community. Canine Action Project has the equipment needed to perform surgeries like an actual veterinary clinic. 
However, some places are too far to bring it along. We're looking at going into a fly-in community in northern Saskatchewan. We're looking at doing an assessment in that community, see what the need is. There are many different things people can do to help, such as donate kennels, blankets and other items. Help by having an understanding that these communities um, need the help with, from us um, uh, to educate people and also to um, I guess even give donations to us would be a big thing. Um, we're looking for different sponsors uh, for our programs. The Canine Action Project is currently looking for volunteers. For more information, go to www.canineactionproject.com or visit their Facebook page. Graham McCann, UCAP News.